Okay, this in 10 minutes. minutes past seven. The first British woman, very um, third ranking, uh, our role in Hello and welcome to Coniston. Decided this weekend that the opportunity came up for me to borrow a Volkswagen Transporter and I thought, well, I'm not going to turn that down. So, wasn't quite sure where to go, so just got in the van, found the first sort of GPX file that I could find for out here in the, in the lakes and Coniston Water was the first one that came up. So, I'm going to be going up, up the mountains here, go for a little six mile, little, little hike up, see what we can find. And of course, here on the channel, you're more than welcome to join me. Feels so good to get out and just do something different. I'm going to be using the trusty Garmin Oregon 650. If you remember earlier on this channel when I started to do wild camping and hiking, this thing, well, this thing wasn't always the most accurate of things and it would send you off in the middle of nowhere for absolutely no reason so in god we trust in garmin we trust today this is not the one we use on the bike so let's see whether the 650 is going to hold up otherwise i'll be throwing it in coniston water <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I'm going to be careful on these this time. Damn cattle grids. I do think that both mountain biking and hiking go together quite well really because fitness, both fitnesses actually benefit each other. Wow, it feels like we're in another world already. Those people in the water down there are doing what's called canyoning and it's something that I wanted to do last time I came to the lakes I came up, oh it's got to be nearly two years now and they told me I couldn't do it because there was a lack of water <laughs> Can you believe me? in the lake district there'd been a bit of a drought and I couldn't do it so at some point we will be doing it and maybe here on the channel I'll do it I'd like to start doing a little bit more adventure things and wow that valley is quite impressive Where's a new mountain bike when you need one? <laughs> cool. You might even have to get it in turbo to get up this hill. This is seriously steep. The plan now is to head further up the valley here towards what's called Lever's Water or Lever's Water, pretty know how you pronounce it. I'm gonna try and see if I can find some overcast trees or somewhere to shelter a little bit and we'll have a cup of Yorkshire tea because that is quite a climb. Wow. Hello. Happy holidays. Such a pity it's so miserable today and chuck it. <coughs> Got these chocolates stuck in my throat. But you can't beat a hot drink that you've made yourself when you're right in the middle of nowhere. Remember, if you're out on your own, wet rocks can be very slippy and very dangerous. This waterfall behind me is absolutely stunning because it works its way all the way from the bottom of the valley all the way up to the very peak, all the way up there. It's absolutely incredible. And like everywhere here in the Lake District and the peaks and everywhere else when you get away from the cities, everywhere you look is just so picturesque and absolutely beautiful. I really wish I could spend more time here and get away, well, from society. said you want to come and do this ride right <laughs> many of you here on the channel will remember that when i first started out i started doing wild camping and hiking and now that i'm out here in the middle of nowhere on my own in the mountains and the moors i'm actually really missing it i'm really really missing it there, there is just something just i can't even begin to put words on why i just love it so much and why i've been desperate over the last year or so to try and find a job or a career or a prospect that will get me out here more often it just feels right. 
Does that make sense? <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but I love the rocks when they're wet. <laughs> it's got such an atmosphere to it, and the rocks, when the rocks are wet, they've just got a certain vibe to them. Just really beautiful. Much nicer than when they're in the dry, and I think it would be a shame if we didn't put a rock up here, if I can find one. Just as I think there can't be anything more interesting on this ride, it takes us by the looks of it all the way back to Coniston down a single track through the woods. And all I can think about is this would be absolutely amazing on the bike. So it looks like at some point we will have to maybe come here and find a route that will take us down here because this is just brilliant. This is just great all the way through the woods. It just feels, ah, oh, it's awesome to be back in the woods. I love the moors, but you can't beat the woods, can you? You really can't. Many of you may have heard me on the channel a few times say, oh, I'd love one of these vans. I'd love one of these transporters. Well, a friend of mine at Open Road Cars saw that video and said, do you know what? I've got a few of these in for sale. How do you fancy taking one for a weekend? Up into the lakes, the dales, wherever you, wherever you want to go. See what you think, see if you like it. I'll never be able to afford one of these. I mean, this one's only 25 grand and there are some more on his, on his forecourt, let's just say where the price keeps going up. But, this thing is awesome, so I'm going to get changed, we'll go, we'll go get some brekkie or some, well it's actually lunch now, and then we'll have a little look around, and then more importantly, we're going to have to find somewhere to stay tonight. Not planned it, I thought we would be extreme and just get out of here and find somewhere. Of course we've got to do it legally, we've got to find somewhere where we can actually pull in, it's not going to bother anybody else. But you can join me on this journey on day two, officially it's still day one, but day two, day video two. And uh, I'm just going to get changed, so you don't need to see this. I'll see you in a second. Feels better to get the converse on. <laughs> you know what I've done, don't you? <laughs> You're not supposed to put the water in the bag, you're supposed to put the bag in the water. <laughs>